uses a spiral helix to go in. Drives an inch and a quarter deep. The step over is a quarter inch. So it's an inch and a quarter deep by a quarter inch axial cut. Pretty heavy cut. And right now it's going 342 inches a minute. And we're gonna step it up a little. Right now you see it's it's loading the spindle pretty good. It's getting up there about 90%, 94%. Um, for spikes it's okay. You can you can have it going over that. Um, you can spike it over 100%, no big deal. So right now we're going 451 inches a minute is the programmed rate. It's not actually traveling quite that fast, but it will soon. As soon as it gets out of this first part of the cut, it'll speed up. Does this step over rough across about 70% of the part and then it'll start doing an inside out pocket. FPL. So we're picking up where we left off. Had a little power flicker. Shut the machine off, so once we got it started back up, we just got it close to where we left off on the first part of the video, and now we're running the rest of it. See what we're looking at here. We left a little band on there. We'll just knock that off. See that there? That's where the power shut off on the machine. It lets the Z drop down. So this just fold over and pops right out. Same thing with that. That's essentially it though. So we just removed, uh, God, I didn't do the math on it, but probably a couple of square feet of material in a matter of less than five minutes. And that's all with a regular Schultz GWA30625. It's not even a roughing end mill. And the rougher, you can speed it up quite a bit. It handles the chips a lot better. 
going to clean some stuff up in here and we're going to run the other side, the other fixture back there. And basically these fixtures were used for a part before and I'm just remachining the fixture. So I'm cutting down below anything that's drilled and tapped into it and uh, that way I can reuse them and start with a nice fresh flat surface. So like I said, this is a waveform roughing strategy. Uh, this particular one was generated in AlphaCam. Most software companies today have something similar. Uh, it's a great way to remove a lot of material fast. Uh, those two pieces, they were old fixtures that we're gonna reuse and uh, as you can see, made all those chips in about eight minutes. And it's a big, nice, heavy chip, you know, instead of using multiple steps and taking shallow depths of cut and do your entire depth in one cut. And as you can see, it leaves a surprisingly good finish despite how fast it's going. And once again, that's it. It's a regular Schultz 3 flute 5 8 diameter end mill carbide Part number is GWA30625. And that's it. Questions or comments, post them. I'd love to hear from you. Again, my name is Adam. And that's Stop, it for now. Drop, pop one time. I just want to see.